Hi, welcome again to 5 Minute Revit. In today's tips and tricks, we will see how to use a keynote in a Revit. A keynote is a very a powerful tool that uh, uh, help us establish consistency in a project when we have a keynote assigned to uh, to elements in a, in a Revit. That keynote will be consistent throughout the project, and when we want to change, make one change, the change make in 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 all uh, uh, of this uh, element uh, in in project. Let's see how it's work. Uh, I have in in here uh, this uh, uh, this detail, and uh, I will uh, add uh, some keynote in in this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, foundation wall. Uh, to do that, I select the, the wall, then I go in edit type and in here in type properties, I will have in here in identity data keynote. Uh, most of uh, Revit element, they have uh, a keynote and the keynote when, when, when we select in here, this, the, the keynote parameter, we have this a small uh, uh, button in here. when. When we click in here, we have that uh, uh, that dialog box, and what we have in here is the path to a keynote a file. A keynote file is only a text file. That text file have uh, have this uh, uh, key values and uh, keynote text, and that uh, you can have uh, you can uh, personalize or customize this uh, file. In our uh, video today, we we'll see how to use that, but uh, maybe in the future videos we can uh, uh, show you how to custom uh, a keynote file. Let's uh, add, add value to this uh, uh, concrete uh, uh, wall. Let's see in here in this division. I go in concrete and then I go to uh, cast in place concrete and then a structural concrete and then I will go to uh, in here and go into uh, this uh, subdivision 12, uh, 12 inches uh, cast in place concrete wall I put uh, okay then you see we have this uh, value assigned to uh, this wall. Now I will go to annotate and I will go to keynote, then I go element keynote. And when I select in here, you see the value uh, that I assign it in the parameter show here, but we can have the, the text value. And also we have in keynote tag and a, uh, another uh, parameter that I show number and text and if I do that you see here I can show both uh, number and uh, the value and I can go in this example for plywood and then I will uh, go and uh, add the keynote here and you see I can align it like like that escape and align it like that in here and I can change if I want only text that also it's and let's bring it back to text and number and just to show you how flexible to use uh, a keynote and uh, I go in here keynote element then I will add for sorry I will add for this one keynote element and now you will see I don't have any value but no worry I can go to this and I go to metal in here and now I can go to metal fastener and then I choose here and now I have my keynote. You see, uh, that's a very good tool we can use to annotate our uh, details. We can use a, a keynote. I hope this video uh, explain how to use a keynote in a Revit.